now that we have our project ready to go and ready to export, let's take a look at how we can export this out of After Effects and bring this into Adobe Premiere or maybe another program so that we can retain our alpha channel or our transparency. Let's jump in and take a look. Now, one thing I do want to note before I jump in, I also did apply another effect to my project and that would be the bevel alpha. Now, all I did to do that, and I'll show you this on my time layer here, uh, of the text tool here where I added time, was I just went to effect and went down to, again, perspective and choose um, bevel alpha. Okay, now, after already adding the drop shadow, when you do that, the, it will try to look at the drop shadow as part of your layer. Therefore, it will try to actually add the bevel after your drop shadow. But in this case, what I want to do is I want to bevel my text and then apply my drop shadow to my beveled text. So what we need to do is grab drop shadow and drag it down below beveled. So first it bevels the text, then it applies the drop shadow. And that's how we can get this nice little look going on here. So I've done that to the rhythm and and the uh, rhythm and time. So all my text layers as well as my 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 image layers also have that same bevel alpha, then drop shadow. So I did apply that. Now we're ready to animate this, or excuse me, export this out, export our animation out for use in any other any other motion graphics or we want to keep this. So what I would do is I would go to file, come down to export. And in this particular case, we're going to use add to render queue, add to render queue. And let me go ahead and minimize this a little bit. <laughs> So here we are, add to render queue. And what we wanna do is best settings, that's good. We'll click on the blue text. And right now it's rendering out an AVI and we don't really want an AVI. I'm actually going to choose QuickTime and video output. I'm going to make sure it says RGB and alpha. Millions of colors plus, that's fine. Pre multiplied matted, that's fine. Everything else here is fine, okay. Format options, it says animation. Um, you could choose your different types of codecs, whether it's uncompressed, 10-bit, 422, however you want to do this. Apple ProRes Proxy, animation. I chose animation for this particular one. It just defaults. It works great for what I needed to use it for. Audio output, on, off, or auto. That's fine. We'll just leave it. There's no audio in this project. I don't really have to worry about it, but I'll just leave it there. And then our output, where are we going to save it? So quickly add a place, tutorial assets. I like to create a folder called exports. And I'm gonna save that there. And then of course, what are you going to title this? So title.mov, let's call this one rhythm and time title MOV, that's fine. Click save. And then we're going to click render. And now it's going to process your sequence. And this is ready to go. Once this is complete, uh, it will process. And then I will be ready to bring this into any other program, whether it's DaVinci Resolve, whether it's Premiere, um, whether it's any other animation program or video program that I would need this for, or maybe it's going uh, to be used on the web for something. Now you've got an MOV with transparency that you can use in another project. I hope this helps in getting you started in After Effects. If this series of tutorials helped you out, make sure you click that thumbs up button down below and make sure you also click subscribe while you're there. And uh, you'll get updates on the next projects coming up in After Effects, Photoshop, or Premiere. I'll see you next time.